Hello everybody, Nate here. Welcome back to our vehicle showcase. Today we have for you a 2020 Ford Interceptor, fully upfitted and graphic here at 911 Rapid Response. Graphics done in coordination with our market graphics team. And we'll start by going over the aftermarket equipment that we have here. The front of the vehicle, Weston Public Safety push bumper. This push bumper is integrating the two wheel and ions, red and blue there, into that top channel. Siren speaker on this vehicle is mounted behind the bumper. Uh, departmental preference. Sometimes we put them on the push bumper, sometimes we hide them behind the, the bumper. So just to match the rest of the fleet for this department, speaker behind the bumper. Up top we have the wheel and senator. This is the 54 inch platform of this light bar currently in a park pattern. Uh, I know we had some questions here in the past. So with the HHS 4206 or the HHS 42, 4200 series, um, we do have the ability with WeCan devices to program the light bar, which is a WeCan device in its own. Um, we do not need the control point for that light bar. If we were using some other type of siren system or a, or a more basic uh, siren package, uh, control system package, we would have to utilize the breakout box and we could actually program to still have this type of, uh, these type of features included. Um, we can get park senses and such things. However, since the HHS is a WeCan device and the light bar is a WeCan device, we can go ahead and do away with the control point. That light bar plugs it directly into the control system and we're able to program it basically in the same platform as we do with CENCOM Carbide, CENCOM Core. The only differences are we're not getting OBD2 integration and we're not getting the same type of effect and control that we are on the perimeter lighting. So with the HHS, these features are limited to the light bar alone. On more advanced systems, carbide and core, we're gonna get the entire system integrated with the OBD2 as well. So right now, half bar, red and blue, flashing for park. Go ahead and take a look at the graphics package that we have here. Again, completed by our team at Market Graphics in-house. Nice subtle package here. Furthermore, we have red and blue warning, wheel and TI on duo in the rear cargo window. And finish it off at the back, wheel and duo TI ions on either side of the license plate, surface mounted, red, amber, blue, amber. That amber is really good for low light conditions and inclement weather conditions. So if you're in rain, fog, that amber really does punch through and kind of set, the, set aside the, uh, the red and blue, kind of breaks it up a little bit and that amber is really effective. Also have the taillight flashers active. Pro Guard. Recess panel front partition, replacement transport seat, outboard seat belts, and the poly window cargo barrier. Steel window bars provided by ProGuard as well. Aftermarket console vehicle specific provided by our friends at Havis as always. This has the internal printer mount. Just below that we have the wheel and HHS control head. Got some functionality there on the buttons and customer supplied radio. Radios on the magnetic mic, internal cup holders, two gun locks in the recess panel, and we have a universal laptop mount there as well, mounted on the passenger side of the console. We'll go ahead and give you some functionality here. One thing that I didn't mention is we do actually have a wheel and vertex in the OEM location on either side of the headlight. Those are going to be active in position three, out of park. So right now in position three, we'll take the vehicle out of park. So we'll get our white flashing active in the light bar, the headlight flashers, and those vertexes are going to come alive. As you can see, the light bar picks up pace. Go back into park. We're going to kill that white flashing and go back into our light bar park program. Take down an alley features in the light bar.
We have a low power feature for the light bar as well. Not gonna bother with that, it's really bright out. Uh, the camera's probably not gonna pick that up. We also have a cruise function, so we're gonna get the corners and the first inboard modules active on a lower power setting. And that'll wrap up the functionality aside of the arrow functions in the back. Thanks again for tuning in, folks. We appreciate you. Leave your comments below, let us know what you think, and if you need anything, please feel free to reach out, 717-473-3843. Thanks, have a great day.